Hey, what's up, bubs? Welcome to The Basic Concept. Today's topic, free money. Let me start by saying that this video is not clickbait. There are actual ways to get money for free in this video. And no, I'm not trying to sell you my book either. I don't even have one. Yet. The only thing I ask is to like and subscribe if you find this info in this video useful. I post weekly videos about finance and money. In this video, I'll be going over five different ways that either I myself found or my friends found and let me know about. Now, all of these have been used successfully either by me or my friends to get either free money or some other monetary benefits. Let's start off with uh, switching banks. Now, before you get upset and hit the dislike button, hear me out. Have you been with your bank for years, maybe even decades? Have you ever asked yourself why? Is it because it's too hard to switch? You have too many accounts attached to it. All your subscriptions and auto pays are linked to it. They have not mistreated you yet. Or is it that you don't like big banks? That you prefer credit unions instead because they're non-profit? Let's really think about each of these topics objectively. It's really hard to switch. Well, you don't have to switch. You can have multiple bank accounts. All of your bills are on auto pay and all your subscriptions are attached to it. Well, keep that account open and open a new one. You can transfer the money between the accounts using their own apps. On top of that, you can use apps like Mint to manage all of them. Very easy, very convenient. They haven't mistreated you yet? Well, they really don't have a reason to. Check out my video about banks to see why they need you as a customer. I'll link it in the description below. You prefer credit unions because they are non-profit. Sure, I'll buy that. But where do you think that profit goes? It doesn't come to you, I can assure you that much. But even credit unions offer incentives to switch. Now most credit unions are local and not on a national level, so you might have to do a Google search to find out which one is close to you and what promotions they have. Here are some examples. At the time of recording, Wells Fargo is offering $400 for you to switch to them. Chase is offering up to $350 to switch to them. Bank of America with a $100 offer. And if you're looking for an investment account like a retirement account or a Roth IRA, E-Trade, Fidelity, pretty much every broker out there will offer you some kind of an incentive. For example, E-Trade is giving you $2,500 or up to $2,500. Now you have the free money to fund your hobby or your business idea. Let's talk about credit cards. I do have a video about credit cards and how they work and how you can take advantage of them. I'll link it in the description below. What you do need to know is that they are counting on you to spend more money than you actually need to. That way they can get you in their debt and make tons of profit off of you. But if you are disciplined enough, you can use them for the rewards and never pay interest into their system. Here are some examples for that. I'll start off with the two that I like the most. Uh, Bank of America has a cash rewards program that will give you a $200 online bonus offer for signing up, in addition to up to 3% cash back on your normal daily expenses. Additionally, up to 75% preferred rewards bonus on every purchase. Another one I really like is the Amazon's Prime Rewards Visa Signature Card. Now this one actually gives you a $70 sign-on bonus, and an additional will give you 5% cash back on any Amazon purchase. Pretty much every credit card will give you some kind of incentive for using their credit card instead of cash or debit card. Um, I would be careful though because some credit cards do charge an annual fee. For example, American Express has some excellent rewards, but they do charge an annual fee ranging up to, I think, $1,000. But for the first year, it's really beneficial because you get all these points for signing up with them. After the second year though, it's expensive and for me, not worth it. Once again, I would recommend using apps like Mint or something similar to that or even your own spreadsheet to make sure you track your expenses and to pay off the credit cards before they're due so you're not paying any interest. That way you can fully take advantage of their system and not cost yourself any more money than you need to. Let's talk about stockbrokers. So I mentioned E-Trade giving you some money for signing up with them for your retirement account or just your general investing account up to $2,500. Now, stockbrokers in general have plenty of ways they make money from you, from management fees, maintenance fees, trade commissions. Because of this, they will offer you a variety of incentives for you to do business with them. 
and typically the smaller the firm, the better the rewards will be. My favorite one still is Webull, mainly because of the potential that you have to make a few thousand dollars pretty easily actually. So right now if you use my referral rank in the bottom, um, you'll get two stocks up to $1,250 in total value. Once you have your account set up, now you have your own referral link so that you can send to your friends or family and gain an additional up to $1,000 worth of stock every time somebody uses your link and signs up with their account. Similarly, Robinhood has the exact same program. So if you use my link below, you can get a stock valued up to $250. Other trading apps like Stash or Acorn, Sophie, M1 Finance, all of them should have something similar promotion where they'll give you some kind of money for opening an account with them and trading with them. Let's talk about cashback or cash rewards websites. I've only had personal experience with Ebates, but there are others that are similar to that. Ebates was recommended to me by one of my close friends. It's uh, very easy to use, very easy to sign up, and basically gives you cash back for buying stuff that you would normally buy anyways by simply visiting their site or app first. And that's it. Very easy. And it can give you up to 40% cash back plus a $10 signing bonus and also a $25 referral bonus. I'll leave my link in the description below. My least favorite on this list is service sites. I'm personally not a fan of these because it requires actually filling out tedious and boring surveys. However, I do know a few people that have actually made some money completing these surveys online and they actually enjoy it. If you have the time for these, Swagbucks, Survey Junkie, and My Points are some of the biggest ones, I believe. Now lastly, I do want to talk about negotiating your existing bills. Now this one isn't really free money, but I wanted to include this since it does include um, a way to free up some of your money. Every company, like your cell phone provider, insurance company, cable TV, internet, all of them have a loyalty or a retention department. All of these companies want and need to stay competitive. For that reason, they'll often adjust their cost to stay relevant in the market. However, if you're not complaining about your bill, they typically will not proactively offer you any kind of savings on your bill. All you gotta do is call them, and sometimes you have to complain, sometimes not. Sometimes you have to threaten them of leaving, pretend that you're changing or thinking about changing providers and they'll offer you their save plans or loyalty plans or a one-time credit. Either way it frees up some cash or puts some cash back into your pocket. And that's it for this video. Check out the rest of my channel for educational videos about finances, investing and money. Like and subscribe to the channel. I post new videos weekly. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.